Hello everybody, God bless each and every one of you. It is Tuesday afternoon, uh, I'm tired, I'm on my way home. I uh, just got done work and I'm very, very tired. So I wanna talk about something. Usually I don't do uh, videos why in the car, but only on Sundays, I usually have a Sunday talk. But I, I watched something the other night, or partially watched it, and then, you know, I had to turn it off because it disgusted me so bad. But I want to talk about music. Uh, music is a big part of my life, um, and it has been since I was a kid. Um, I can play, you know, multiple instruments, uh, self-taught. Except for the piano and the organ, I took lessons as a kid, which actually got me into music and kind of uh, inspired me to go on to the guitar and the bass. And now I'm trying to play the flute. I'm learning that. I don't know why, because I got a really nice flute, so I guess no sense in leaving it sitting around. So I've been practicing on that. Um, but anyways, I'm completely digressing from what I want to say. But when I first started playing music and, and when I learned how to play the guitar, I sadly did not play for the Lord, which is what I should have been doing, but I did not do. I played in a heavy rock band. Uh, we played all up and down Baltimore, Washington, up uh, to Philadelphia, all up and down the, the Mid-Atlantic, um, into Delaware. And I'm not proud of it. I'm not. I'm not proud that I took a talent that the Lord obviously gave me because I really don't have any type of major uh, musicians in my family. I think on my father's side there might have been a couple, but they weren't nothing of any significance that I can remember. So the Lord gave me this ability, and um, instead of repaying him back by playing worship music and gospel music which is what I should have been doing I went to play worldly music I wanted to be a, I mean I was young I wanted to be a rock star you know the whole nine yards but anyways what I saw was a short documentary on these bands that are out there today that consider themselves satanic they consider themselves pure satanists now, this was a, a Christian program that, you know, I was watching that was showing this, but even at that point I had to turn it off because you could almost feel the, the evil emanating from the screen. It really was, I don't know, I don't like to watch stuff like that, but the only way you learn about stuff like this so I can make a video is, sadly, I have to watch that kind of junk, but uh, thank God it was a Christian uh, video you know, warning people. But what got me was, it wasn't those that were up on stage. That That's bad enough, okay? Those guys admit that, you know, they're pure Satanists. You know, they say they got the devil running through them. I mean, some of the most... Uh, I don't even like... I don't even like repeating, all right? So, wow. I don't even like repeating some of that stuff that they were saying. N none of it was vulgar. It's just talking about you know, being a devil worshiper, but, uh, that's bad enough, but what really struck me the most was how packed their audiences were. We're talking thousands and thousands of kids that were out there just absolutely rip-snorting and tearing in that audience. That's the ones that I felt complete and utter just devastation for because they're being led straight to hell and they think it's cool they think it's absolutely cool a lot of them got interviewed at the end of or at the end of the first little I guess section of the film that was that I watched like I said I couldn't watch it all but they uh, would show some clips of the bands playing and then they would interview some of the people in the audience uh, and, and they were saying stuff like, they don't want to go to heaven, you know, hell's where all the rock stars at, where they're going to smoke dope and drink beer and party with Jimi Hendrix and party with this one and that one and, and blah, blah, blah. These kids believe this stuff. They really believe that that's what hell's like. 
they believe that hell is an absolute party. 24-7, a non-stop party. It is a party, all right, but it ain't a party for you. It's a party for your torture. It's a party for your torment and pain from the devil and his demons 24-7. It's a non-stop torment. How do I know this? Because the Bible tells us what hell's about. The Bible clearly lays it out where the worm never dieth. He lays it out as plain as you can practically make it. But yet, when you don't believe in the Bible and you don't believe in God, then you have a tendency to believe the hogwash that these Satanists up on stage playing this music tell these kids, you know, and they indoctrinate them. Some of them had them uh, reciting satanic verses in the middle of songs. And these kids were basically committing their lives to Lucifer. And I'm sure some thought it was a joke. And I'm sure some did it maybe under peer pressure or, or maybe think it was cool. But you don't mess with the devil. You don't play with that stuff. As I said the other day, you know, Christ tells us you don't mess with familiar spirits. There is demon spirits. You don't mess with that stuff. It's not cool. If you watch this video and you are someone that likes that type of music, I implore you from the bottom of my heart to break away from that stuff. Take it from somebody that used to listen to heavy metal. Take it from somebody that used to play heavy, heavy rock and, and into heavy metal style of music. Not satanic. I didn't consider myself in any shape, form that way. But the music was still heavy. So take it from somebody that, that's played music, that, that's been in that, uh, you know, rock scene. It's not, it's not a good thing. It's not. Jesus is your only way. He is your salvation. Jesus went to that cross so you could have the opportunity to have an everlasting life in heaven. And to think that hell is some type of some type of party it's just it's absolutely mind-boggling but then again you know the devil you know he has his disciples upon this earth just as Christ did with Matthew Mark Luke John Peter Paul you know so on so on uh, the devil has people that does his work the devil has people and he's got them so fooled he's got them believing that when they die they're gonna rule in, in hell and they're gonna have you know, this, that, I'm sure of it. But the devil is the father of all lies. So he's not going to tell you the truth. He's going to tell you what you want to hear. And sadly, too many fall for it. And what's even sadder than that is when they pass and they realize they've made a terrible, terrible mistake. Now listen, there shouldn't be a Christian on this earth that would gloat about somebody dying lost. If if they do, then they're not a Christian that that I would consider a real Christian because you should be praying for the lost souls. You should be praying for every single one of them kids out there that are entrapped by this devil music. You know, when I was growing up, I, I used to hear preachers talk about worldly music and devil music. And, you know, as a kid, I, I, I would... You know, as a little kid, it would scare me. But then as I got a little older and started playing music, you know, I thought, ah, it's not so bad. You know, what's so bad about this and that and that? And then little by little, it sucks you in. It's almost like, um, it's almost like a drug. The, you know, you do a little bit of it or you listen to a little bit of it and, and you like it. So obviously you're going you're gonna to do more. And in this case, you're going to listen to more. And you're going to listen to more. And then before you know it, you're completely enveloped by that lifestyle. You're completely enveloped by that world. And that world is ruled by the devil. That is his domain. As I've said many, many times, that is his domain. But we need to pray for these youth. Because so many of them think they're going to live forever. Just as we did when we were teenagers. I'm sure of it. But you don't. Remember, the Bible tells us, or 
God tells us our life is but a vapor. We're here just for a mere blink of an eye. And it's true, we are. We're not here that long if you think about it. If you think about the life expectancies, we're not here that long. So if you're into that, before I close this video, I implore you to please, please get away from that stuff because it's, it's, it's so bad and it has nothing but bad intentions for you and your life. Believe me, you don't want to die lost in that world because you will be lost when you die. You'll truly be lost. You'll be cut off from God completely with no hope forever and ever and ever. And my friends, there's nothing worse than being cut off from God. I know a lot of people don't believe in God. I wish people could see the things that I've saw God do, the healings and the deliverings and, and the things that the Lord has done. I really wish people could see what I've seen because I grew up in a, in a Christian household. Thank, thank the Lord in heaven with a, with a wonderful parents that believed in the Lord that took me to church. Uh, so I have a strong faith in God because I've seen what the Lord can do. And that's why we need to pray for the ones that have not grown up in church, that have not seen these things. Because it is harder sometimes to, to believe people when they say stuff like I've said and you've not experienced it. But you're not going to know unless you try. If you ask Christ into your heart right now, if you close your eyes and you ask the Lord to come into your heart and, and, and remove every sin, and you mean it, when you open your eyes, you're going to feel like a new person because then you're going to be born again. Spiritually, you're going to be born again and you will feel it. You will. I, I promise you. First one thing in life, I promise you. If you give your life to the Lord and you mean business, not doing it jokingly, you'll know instantly. The Lord has removed all of them burdens from you. Believe me. Pray for these people. Pray for the lost in general. I've went on a little bit longer than I wanted to. I apologize for that. Have a wonderful Tuesday evening. Take care. Remember to pray. God bless each and every one of you. And thank you. Subscribe if you want. Like if you like. It's up to you. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.